Capricorn, this message is for you. This is Artsy Wisdom. My, my name is Diane. I'm going to do a reading for the last five months of 2023 for Capricorns. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate any and all my subscribers, the original ones that I know were coming here when I wasn't doing much of anything. So I appreciate it. Appreciate all the likes and subscribes. So I'm going to be pulling a card for every month. And then one for the um, overall arching theme for the second part of the year. Um, yeah, so this is for Capricorn. And my Cappies, the full moon is coming into Aquarius, but it's slowing, it's brightening up the end of Capricorn right where um, Pluto is. So that's August, September, October, November. I think this is your theme, November, December, and then this is the theme. Okay, so I'm gonna flip these around and flip the things down. So, flip it around, Capricorn. August, September, October, November, December, and overarching theme. So Seven of Swords for um, the August is meaning you're worried about uh, making sure you get your, your stuff back. Maybe there's somebody that's been taking advantage of you, somebody that's really um, maybe know, criminal or very wrong or unethical that you're trying to get your... Um, Either it could be your emotions back, maybe you're, he's broken your heart or she's broken your heart and or they've t literally taken your stuff um, or you're worried that they're going to take your stuff and you're really having to hold on to everything. And I think um, there is a movement. It seems like you're not subtle too. I feel like you're Capricorn. Normally you're a settled sign. You're very stable. You like your secure home and secure place. But maybe emotionally, this is keeping you unsettled. And this is for August. So there might be a movement, like maybe you're changing apartments or homes and maybe you want to make sure all your things, maybe the movers are going to lose something or break something. That could be part of it. Um, but also, August is, you know, it, it's still this summertime. And I'm getting a feeling or I'm seeing a pictures of families together. And it may, maybe there's something that isn't, getting righted that you want to have part of your time in August and you feel like you're being taken advantage of in some way shape or form now with Capricorns are really good at taking care of themselves so I don't see this as being a huge problem but it does seem like there's a worry it does seem like you're thinking about how do I make sure this doesn't happen or if it has happened how to fix it maybe you have to take somebody to court maybe you have to call a friend and back you up and you know go talk to them or maybe just sit quietly and meditate on it and say I need to emotionally distance myself from this person because they were taking advantage of me so I think ultimately that's going to be a good thing because in September you got strength strength is the Leo card and it's number eight and isn't this is finding your courage your inner inner lion lioness and it looks like you might have to stand up for yourself in September. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a huge problem. It could just be somebody's not giving you credit or something like that. And you're having to stand up for yourself, have good boundaries and say, no, hey, I did this. And, you know, put that energy into your heart, push out your chest, you know, put your energy out. Imagine it as a big ball of light, like around her, where everybody is. They'll have, if you imagine, envision it, either a blue light or a pink light, whatever color makes you feel strong, blow it out around you, envision it around you getting bigger and bigger. And psychologically, it helps you, but it also energetically, other people sense it. So standing your ground, you know, the lion has a big perimeter that he, the male lion has to cover protecting his pride. So think of that. Think about protection, protecting your area, your territory, emotionally, physically, spiritually, metaphorically, whatever that is. It looks like you're going to be strong, but you have this 
super awesome. You have this. I like. I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards because I'm a Leo and I like lions. So, okay, September, October, Temperance. So I think you're going to find your balance at that point. October is there, you're going to come back to center after a little bit of a. It's not even a struggle. It's just basically a, trying to figure out how to maintain this balance. How to not let things get one way or the other, not let people take advantage of you or take your credit, but also emotionally maybe take advantage of you. I don't get that. I feel like it's more of a tangible, secure thing, something real that somebody might be um, maybe even just pushing your buttons and you're like over it. So by October, you got September, you're going to find your power really, really well. And then October, it's like, yeah, I got this. And you're actually, she's kind of one cup is water is going into the other she's she's um sharing this back and forth with each cup and she knows that it's a matter of her balancing all of this um uh, abundance because if you look at these wings there's so much gold and feathers it's like so much abundance so it almost looks like you gained so much more than you ever thought you would lose in august somehow it gets exponentially bigger either emotionally or um, some satisfaction on your end that you feel like you can do this now. You get confidence in uh, September. And and I think this is going to help you really grow, really grow. So, and that's um, October. Then November, yeah, November, you got the King of Pentacles. And this could be you, which is finding... Or it could be uh, a man. This is a very secure man. It's, a, it's an earth sign like you, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But it, it could be you as a, in your male energy, expanding yourself out into the world and finding the place in your body that makes you feel stable and strong and to be able to withstand anything. And it's, I picture him having, I know he's got, only got two legs, but it feels very like stable, like four legged table, four. A cornered house this guy I feel like it's and maybe you're gonna build a house maybe you're gonna go from this thing to creating a new foundation of something um, and it could be emotionally it could be physically but I'm, I'm getting it's more of a physical thing on top of the emotional thing that I think the emotional thing is something that makes you more aware of what you need and what will make you feel secure uh, maybe this is a banker maybe you're gonna go to them to finance a house or a government worker or somebody at your job where you feel like so stable and strong and standing up for yourself you're like I'm gonna get a raise I'm gonna ask for money and that could be that could be in November as well and um, yeah and I feel like all of these last November December or, or I'm sorry October and November are really positive growth months well September is too September is you finding your power and then moving it along into embracing it and absorbing it into your life so that's November. And then December, you uh, may make some changes. You may make some changes to the point where you think, okay, I need to leave this situation. Now, this could be metaphorical as well. Emotionally, maybe you've stabilized yourself um, or you've gotten into a home or a place or a job where you feel much more stable, much more secure, much more... Um, relaxed in knowing yourself and knowing your inner worth or your value and and by December you you're letting go of any of that old crap that you brought into August with you you've really worked on yourself and you're like all right I am moving on either physically like leaving my job or emotionally by leaving a relationship or physically energetically moving on so you're not feeling attached like you can imagine a cord being disconnected from you between you and the other person situation event project whatever that is relationship and you're moving on you're looking ahead instead of like thinking about how you don't have choices look at all the choices you have you have eight cups and that's these are all your choices and now you realize that you have so many and that's in December you might get that many offers maybe you'll get a bunch of offers to leave your position or go somewhere else 
but that's really good. And now the the uh, overall arching theme is the Wheel of Fortune, which is an excellent card for uh, good luck if you you're in the right place at the right time. So there's no such thing as luck, right? It's preparation meets with opportunity meeting. Um, I'm sorry, preparation and hard work meeting opportunity. Is that the word? Anyway, and that's your luck. And so Wheel of Fortune is, it's about timing. And you have, you're at a place where I think you're going to be in the flow, you know, where you've already gotten rid of the old stuff that's not really helping you anymore that you used in the past. And it was a survival mechanism, whatever that was. But you've decided, you know, you've put down boundaries in some way, shape or form. And you decided to give yourself value, decided to be stronger, find your inner power, your, find your lion, inner lion. And I do feel like there's an opening for Capricorn in um, the second part of the year where you're going to just slip right in there and uh, expand. And there'll be some opportunity in regards to jobs or increasing your business or being with people that are healthy. That's the other thing, too, is when you get rid of this old stuff, sometimes you have to create all new relationships because a lot of your relationships have been kind of unhealthy and they don't help you get better. So you have to start over, get a new, and that's what this is. It's starting over. And so the overarching theme is it's a huge time for good luck for you, Capricorn. And you just have to work through a few things in August and be strong in September and everything else will fall into place. So good luck Capricorn. Mm -hmm.